What's up, nerds? Welcome back to the channel. We've got a whole bunch of finesse plastics that we are pretty stoked about to share with you today. This is a brand that has been up and coming. It's been climbing our roster. People that we respect in fishing fish the heck out of these things, and they believe in them. So we, therefore, ipso facto, believe in them, and we're very excited to test these out. In fact, we even got the owner of this company to come on to our live which happened March 13th. So you definitely gotta check that out. We're talking about Great Lakes Finesse. These are small mouth candies, baby. So we're, guys, we're always trying to find smaller brands that you guys maybe don't know about or haven't heard of. This fits right into this category. Quick caveat on this, just so you guys know, we did not pay for these. They were mm -hmm. sent to us uh, from Pradco, the company that is in charge of Great Lakes Finesse. So we did not pay for these. Just wanna let you guys know that upfront. And the other point that we have to make as well is if we get something for free, we still reserve the right to have our own opinions, comma, slash, spaceman. And they have, and they said right up front, they were like, say whatever you want. We mm -hmm. are totally down with that. I love it when a brand is willing to stand, stand behind, behind what they make, and they're not going to yeah. say, well, if you say something bad, don't say it on the internet. They were like, no, say whatever you want, because I know it's going to be good. And we will. And we're still going to go fish this thing, so we'll still talk to how they fish, durability, yep. do they catch fish, and all that stuff. So again, stay tuned for that. Should we start with plastics? I think we should start with plastics. So the plastic that brought us all here today started it all was this old snack craw in a whole bunch of different colors. Oh my gosh, look at these things. They're uh -huh. insane. They're, they're unbelievable in the package, let alone up close. I'm super stoked to fish these things. 2.1 inches. I think we mentioned that these are finesse. 2.1 inches. Look at the detail though. And then I think what is really, you can't bring it up on camera, but what's so hard to speak to is the like the feel of the plastic. It's different than anything else I've yep. felt. All these, or most of these, are like a matte finish, which you can kind of see. Uh, if I can get the light just right to show you, you can see that there's like a matte finish on these. They're very salty. They've got some density to them, and they are sturdy. Now, are these gonna tear? Absolutely. Yep. It's a finesse plastic. You're gonna tear some of these, but these things have some some like some density to them. Look at that, all black, matte black, man. So some of these are also floating, and it will denote that on the pack where it'll have FLT. The watermelon shows up totally different than a normal watermelon when you get the mat on there. But yeah, they have a floating and a non-floating of each one of these. So how are you gonna rig those things up? Well, you're gonna use these bad boys right here. So we got a nice ball head jig with a molded bait keeper there, and it's using gamakatsu hooks. Quality. So you can't go wrong. Uh, these things are pretty juicy. We got ours in one eighth of an ounce. Pretty good all around weight for essentially netting. Now, how are these different than let's say just a regular ball head jig. One, I would say is the size and the texture type of this uh, bait keeper. You see how it's basically a nail weight that is going to hold the plastic very well, but it's not going to destroy this type of plastic. So it's gonna mm -hmm. do what you want it to do without just have you wasting your money, which a lot of times those ones with like the bent hook backwards, that's great for like a Z-Man elastic yeah. type plastic, horrendous for it's a normal it. type plastic. It's yeah. just going to ruin it. Uh, and then you just get the quality hook, then you get the same matte finish. So you get the same finish through and through on your bait. So we love the snack craw. Lots yeah. of great colors. Can't wait to go fish that. So we talked to the owner of the company about all their baits and this one came up as like that sleeper bait people look at it they're like that's so dumb why would i fish or that? just not understanding what it can do for you and then to find out it annihilates giant smallmouth and constantly. it is like the star of the show but arguably yep. tied for another star of the show coming so up. so this is the flat cat 2.2 inches mm -hmm. and it looks so silly i agree <laughs> like it's got a just chubby body there a little dangly tail with a little flat circular nobular section off the back, but gosh dang it, the subtle action out of this thing is pretty great. It is designed for Ned Rig, dragging, yeah, drop big, shot. I feel like dragging and anytime, honestly, I wanna try this on the hover stroll. I feel like this has some yes. really cool application there too. There's really not gonna be, it's just very versatile. Yeah. Uh, and there's, I've not seen anything quite like this that has like, it's meant to be rigged uh, wide like this. Not Nothing in this size. This clear shed color, just another example of a bait you just don't, you just don't see this very often. Often. So matte finish, but still see-through. Just super cool. It's hard, like most of the times we're trying to show like a big bait that's like, wow, this is awesome. And now we're doing the exact opposite. It's almost like this is right before you hit ultralight slash micro, mm -hmm. but you're still running this on like an eighth of an ounce like jig head or up to a quarter ounce jig head. So yep. I think there's this just a lot of versatility. And again, 
from a smallmouth perspective, smallmouth fisherman perspective, I'm super pumped for these. Next one, self-explanatory, it's called the drop worm. It is a four inch drop shot worm, right? So still pretty that subtle plastic, very salted up. Got a bunch of different color options that Meltdown they have for these. Is this one. So we did a green pumpkin purple flake in this one, and then we got what is called Meltdown. Meltdown, bro, this one, and uh, I will tell you right now, one thing I learned about like a purple slash morning dawn, mm -hmm. and then the like the Meltdown, but I used to think like only, I would only use the chartreuse like in the dark Dirty. water, and I yeah. would only use the like uh, purple morning dawn, like darker clear. and clear water. Yeah. Dude, I have totally flip flopped. Yeah. Like t at least with this type of plastic, like this finesse plastic, it's good. Clear. I have totally flip flopped. I have I've had this be the only thing that will hit in clear water. Uh, so this one's got the flat bottom, textured top. Uh, classic drop shot. And I like that it's a little longer. Yep. It's a little longer than most of your drop shot baits. So cool, cool presentation there. Super excited for that one. I also like that they don't just limit it to that. So they do have on their little tags here, like rigging options. It shows the hook that you need. It shows the profile of the bait. Uh, very helpful stuff here. It does mention Jika and free rig on this, which is pretty awesome. Shaky head and drop shot. I keep saying like this bait <laughs> brought us to this company like nonstop. Here's another one. Uh, so this one right here is called the drop minnow. It is 2.75 inches. Uh, again, shows you rigging techniques, the hook that you should be using, drop shot, underspin trailers, and then moping or Ned rig. What is, what is moping? Is it mopping or moping? Is it is Who knows? Two P's Not me. or one P? <laughs> <laughs> I like that uh, the shape is really kind of hard to show here, but flat top, and then you get down to this trim down section, but as you can see from this perspective, you got a nice belly on this, this one right here. So contrast here is thick belly with the really tiny tail here. So that contrast is what makes, I think, this bait's profile pop in the water without making it super big, right? We're talking smaller downsize profile. How do you make it pop? Contrast. Here's that meltdown color again. Oh my gosh. These That's cool. Good. That one, awesome. turned out, that one turned out really good. Now these are designed to be paired with something else that Great Lakes Finesse sells, uh, which what? is pretty fantastic. So this tag mentions the underspin. We got some underspins. The, this is called the sneaky underspin. So it comes in 1 16th all the way up to a half ounce. We went with like 3 16ths and I think 3 eighths of an ounce where those are too. 5 16ths, 3 16ths, and... 316. So 516 and 316. <laughs> and it. we wanted something that was really going to go well with, I think, these finesse type of plastics and some of the other types of things that we do here. So now you can see you got a more aggressive uh, bait keeper here because it's going to be doing a lot more moving, not so much static or like dragging like that jig. Uh, straight shank hook. And then you get this arm right here extending down to get your willow blade right here. And they've got a couple of different colors. We're going to see that one right now. So here is one in white. And check it out if we took our little meltdown drop minnow you would pair it up just like so and that thing is going to be super juicy i'm excited for this they do come in different color uh blades obviously jig mm -hmm. heads all yep. that now this one right here you know that these folks are from like no one about the great lakes region because like nobody else would choose to make these hooks only like there's just like who else would do this yep so there's a lot of like tube fishermen out there that's a big thing out here uh, especially for smallmouth but it's just big out here in the river just everywhere and there's a lot of different types of tube jigs out there but one place where there's still a gap, and I'll keep saying it until people start mm -hmm. buying these, is micro or short tubes. Like, so mm -hmm. two inches or less. They're out there. They exist. People want to use them, but they struggle because there's not a hook for it. Yep. So here is their mini tube head. So nice size range on these. Quality, just like everything else. But really, this is specifically designed for your micro or super finesse tubes. Thank you. So this is a 275, a little bit on the bigger side. So we're just going to show you how this works. You just uh, stick it right on up there, wait till you get as far in as you want in the tube, and then you just gotta poke your eyelet through, like so. Bam, gorgeous, snack, waiting Compact. to be eaten. Eat it, okay. Paul. Deal. I was actually like really beyond stoked about this. I, I we're, like, we're just scrolling through, it's the last thing that's gonna show yeah. up on the website, and I remember being like, this should be the third thing they show on the website. <laughs> this little guy right there, you see those little tiny snap clips? These are designed for drop shot. They're called the quick shot clip. Um, I've never seen anything like this before. Doesn't mean it doesn't exist. This is just what I know. And uh, after I saw it, I fell in love. So if you guys are familiar with drop shotting, you usually get your little weight like this. And oftentimes I either have a circle uh, up top or this little like pinch clip on it. Hey, look, here's a picture of a drop shot. So you got your hook here 
and then you got your weight down here. So this, for me, this is the most useful and like the most annoying thing if you're a drop shot fisherman. I usually have like one yeah. setup just for drop shot. So I get it all rigged up. I think I've got the perfect rig. I tie my hook, I tie my weight, I get it all set up. And yeah. then I realize like half ounce is too Wrong much weight. or quarter ounce is too much or it's not enough or whatever. And I want to change the weight, but then I have to cut and I have to retie everything because now the depth has changed because I cut off my knot. So with the quick shot, beautiful thing about it is I can show you guys with Ah! without my pliers. The cool thing I can show you with pliers here is we can take our drop shot weight. So you're going to get something with like the little circle end there, right? Usually More like, like a free rig weight, a free rig weight. And then you're going to take that and we can just, oh my God, zoom in, buddy. We can take that and we'll just slide it off. Boom. So now I just have the clip there, right? And then I go and I'll grab a half ounce or I'll switch to a one eighth or whatever. And then or I'm a gonna, cylinder or a, or a different drop or whatever. Yeah. And then you just snap it right back on. Super easy. You guys saw me do it in real time just there. Uh, if this is tied onto a line, pretty easy. Or if you need to, just grab pliers, you grab the little eye, and then you can swap it out really easy. So awesome. Changing types of weights and the weight that you're using. It solves such a big problem that nobody really thinks about. And like an annoyance and for yep. a not very expensive price. So just when you thought we were done, Great Lakes Finesse goes ahead and drops a whole bunch of new products. So Paul's not here right now, but I just got a brand new box from Great Lakes Finesse and I wanna share these new products with you guys because I think they are really unique and really freaking cool and I cannot wait to go fish them, which I'll probably do this weekend. I'm gonna go through each of these with you. Couple new colorways as well. So some of the baits we already covered, just in a different color. Let's get into it. First things first, we got two new colors with the snack craw. We've actually got a black and blue here and we've got a green pumpkin orange, which is really more of like a burnt orange. So here's the black and blue. Pretty subtle, still going for that matte finish that Grey Lakes Finesse has really become known for. Next color we got is this green pumpkin orange. Take a look at that. So you got that green pumpkin side and then you flip it over, check that out. There you go. It's more like a, it's almost even a red, like a burnt orange, brownish orange. Sick color combo. So we actually recently had Dan, the founder of this company on our podcast, March 13th. He's dropping all sorts of tips about these different baits that they've dropped recently. And it's, it's a good watch. So highly recommend to go check that out if you want to hear it just from the guy that made this stuff. Part of the reason they dropped some of these new colors was they listen to people who fish these lures. They listen to the guys that are producing on tournaments, which is really more important so that you know these are going to catch fish. And things like the black and blue, that came out because guys were wanting to throw the snack craw on finesse jigs. So it was cool to find out. But more importantly, we've got two brand new baits that we need to talk about. So number one, we got a 2.4 inch Helgramite in a bunch of different colors. And number two, the one that's like breaking the scene right now is the Juvie Craw. It's a 2.5 inch tube craw. It's very unique and I'm excited about it. So let's go through these Helgramites real quick. Color wise, they've got a Frosted Shad. That's that first one that I showed you. Green Pumpkin Purple, a little bit of flash to it there. This is what Dan said his favorite color was, called Brown Pumpkin Special. And we've got the Meltdown color. We've showed you that in a few of their different baits. This Hot Chartreuse. And then the Smoke Clear Purple, the Clear Water Special. So let's take a close look at this. I'm gonna pick out the one that Dan said was like the juice color. Now something important that we learned on that podcast that applies to pretty much all these baits is that you gotta keep in mind these have a neutral buoyancy. So this Helgramite, while well, you might be thinking Ned Rig or throw it on the little 1 8 ounce, 1 16 ounce ball head jigs that GLF has, or your favorite Ned head, you definitely can do that. These, he said, excel on drop shot. And that's because they actually sit horizontal like they're supposed to. They're not ultra buoyant where they're sticking up and they're not sinking. So they sit right where you want them. And that makes these highly effective as drop shots. But just check out the detail on this bad boy. Insane. So they got all the appendages there, gorgeous. We've unboxed different Helgramites from like Nico Bates, Yum on here. And uh, this is just like a perfect size option. I'm really excited about this. Might even just do a comparison of all three of those and we'll pick our favorite Helgramite overall. So earlier in the video, we showed you guys the mini tube jigs. These are phenomenal. And we were like, oh, you just need a mini tube, a small like two, 2.5 inch, maybe even a three inch tube. You can get away with it on these. And it was funny because Great Lakes Finesse was making the mini tube jig, but they didn't have a tube. So we were talking on the podcast and was like, he's actually been working on this tube for over two years. So this thing has a lot of time into it. Also a lot of investments. So let's take a look at her. Comes in a bunch of different colors. I think we got every color this comes in. This first one is green pumpkin purple. Check it out. 
So that is the craw tube, hollow on the inside, as you guys can see there. It looked like most of these were with floating claws, similar to like a lot of those different snack craw options. So you got your nice little claws there. You got your antenna there. And if you go to their website, you can see a video. You can watch this in action. I don't, you don't have to take my word for it. This thing looks absolutely juicy underwater. One really cool thing Dan pointed out to us is that there's actually a flat bottom on this tube. So a lot of tubes, when they're like spherical, they're rounded, they actually tend to just roll on their side when they're sitting on a tube jig on the bottom. And this does not. This sits exactly like this every time, just the way you want it. You can also do a nice swim retrieve with this and uh, you're going to get good results. I'm taking it from Dan the man himself because he catches giant small ace. Something interesting about this too is that it's actually got like thinner plastic in parts and thicker plastic in parts. <laughs> That's pretty neat. That's some thought going into it for durability and... I can show you guys this. There's actually a slot right there between the antennae, right between the eyes. That's where your jig hook is gonna go. So when you rig this, might as well rig one up because I'm gonna fish it ASAP. You just take your mini tube jig, you take your juvie craw, and you just shove it into the opening. So it just goes right in here and super easy. And then you're gonna line up that hook so I've got my hook lined up right between the antennae there. And then all I gotta do is I gotta get my hook eye out. So I'm just gonna depress the tip of the tube here until my hook eye pops out. There it is. Super easy rigging, just like that. You're already done. You can rig this weedless. So they actually have a thicker portion of plastic up top here. So if I just like tech expose that, still got it right in the middle there but that's gonna make this now a weedless presentation so I can fish this wherever I want. Otherwise, if you don't want a text pose, obviously you don't need to. Just rig it just like that and go fish this thing, which is how I'm gonna do it. And I think it's gonna be awesome. Also, these packs are loaded. They got seven to a bag here. So there's that color. Ooh, I didn't even see this color. This is a green pumpkin watermelon. So a green pumpkin and then that like almost chartreuse belly section there. So that is a... Uh, it's a go-to color combo for me, for sure. We've got the matte black, which is just like any of these plastics you get, if you get matte black, you're probably in a safe spot. Just get the matte black. We got frosted shad, just the most subtle green pumpkin purple. Look at this. What the hey? There's just like a very subtle amount of purple flake in that. Just enough. <laughs> then we got your classic watermelon. Little red flake in there. Again, one of the newer colors here that's just gonna be the juice. Green pumpkin orange, that orange belly. Mm. So there you have it. Two new products they just dropped. They're actually dropping a bunch more as well. I just don't have them on hand, so stay tuned for them. But definitely go check out Great Lakes Finesse on our podcast where Dan Miguel, the guy who created the company and all these baits, drops all his knowledge, like literally just giving it away. I promise you that is a huge value episode. So definitely consider checking out. Now back to me and Paul weeks ago when we closed this video out. So awesome stuff from Great Lakes. Hopefully you guys check it out. And if you like this video and you wanna see how it goes for us actually fishing this stuff out on the water, then you should probably subscribe, maybe smash a like on this video. And you can check out our lives every Wednesday, 8, 15 p.m. Eastern. We'd love to see you there and talk to you in chat. All right, we got some kayak stuff to do. I'm gonna casually get you out of the frame. <laughs> <laughs>